Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Peter Rice. I have a long history in open source bioinformatics and for the last seven years I've been working on the Transmark project, which I'd like to introduce you to you today. The project itself started some 15 years ago as I2B2, which was a, a software warehouse to store patient data and to create cohorts for clinical trials. After a few years, the code branched out into a proprietary branch called Transmart to analyze the results of clinical trials, both the patient data and the gene expression data that was generated. In uh, 2012, Transmart was released under GPL, and that's when I joined the eTrix project in 2013, and together with the TRAIT project in the Netherlands and a pre-competitive consortium from the pharmaceutical industry, we built a Transmart community and we added numerous plugins and new features but we had to drop ITB2 because at the time it was not open source. The ITB2 and Transmark communities did join together in 2017 and last year we finally got an open source release of ITB2 and we're now working together to put uh, some 10 years of divergence behind us. Transmark now supports new data types, for example RNA-seq and proteomics as a result of these efforts. Transmart is written in Grails, so the code is in Groovy plus Java, JavaScript, SQL, and some other sources. The latest release we upgraded to Grails 2.5, which got us up to Java 8, and at long last Grails 4.0 has come out, so the next release is going to be able to finally upgrade to Java 11. We had a major code review by Bert Beckwith, who was part of the project at Harvard, and wrote the O'Reilly Grails books. We cleaned up many issues in the old code, and we've also reviewed the SQL code for data loading. We fixed quite a few performance issues in there. The community has curated more than 300 studies, and these can be loaded into any local instance using a range of data loading tools. And the database can also now be used to load data for ITB2, now that we've reverted all of the changes to the common parts of the schema that have been introduced over the years. This shows how a study looks in Transmart. So this, in this cancer trial, expression data at the top, you can select genes individually, or you can put all of the expression data into an analysis. There are numerical data such as ages, or in this case, survival time. You can select a range of values, and you can use the string values listed separately and drag them in to select cohorts for analysis, one or two comparison subsets to run the analysis options. On the left here, you see an interactive heat map generated using the Smart R tool. And there's a control box to control the clustering and various display options, and you can mouse over some of the data. On the right is the older advanced workflows where we have the full set of analysis options that are available in Transmart. As a use case, we've started a project to collect data for SARS CoV 2 and for SARS and MERS and to review them and compare them and make the data public, shareable, usable by as many people as possible. We're hoping to set up a virtual datathon to curate new data that people may have within companies or within their labs and help to, to merge them together in a common form. It'll be a Transmart 19 server using the latest release. It'll be a public server hosted on AWS through the ITB2 Transmart Foundation. And we'll have a staging server at Axiomedics where we'll have the, the studies that we're putting through the curation process and we can help get the community to help us review them. And there'll be a library server where we'll put all the data up for download to individual local instances. We'll add links to other public COVID resources of which there are many emerging and extra documentation for new users because of course many users are going to be completely new to Transmart. So thank you very much for your attention. Special thanks to the Dell Technology Office for Social Innovation and to Rudy Potenzone in the ITB2 Transmart Foundation for bringing the community together. I can be contacted at either of these two email addresses and I hope to see many of you at the poster. Thank you very much. <laughs>